welcome to the Western Pacific Fishery Management Council's Fish Forever podcast series on sustainable fishing through effective stewardship in the U.S. Pacific Islands. In this episode, we learn about inshore and offshore fishing surveys conducted in Guam by the Division of Aquatic and Wildlife Resources. Participating in fishery surveys is one way for fishers to contribute toward the development of fishery management policies. It also plays an important role in the effective management of coral reef and open ocean fisheries. Um, our department uh, conducts in the inshore fisheries, the krill uh, surveys, four times a month. They are randomly chosen. We have, uh, we basically, we go around the island interviewing fishermen, and we ask them questions about what they caught, how long they've been fishing, what type of fishing methods uh, they're doing, what type of bait they're using. The Division of Aquatic and Wildlife Resources also conducted what they called offshore surveys. These surveys involve talking to boat fishermen who target open ocean fish. It also includes those who spear or net reef fish from their boats. We interview fishermen at the three major ports that we have, Agandia Boat Basin, Agam Marina, Marisa Pier. And what we do is we collect uh, data on, um, on what type of fish they catch, on participation basically, how many people are with them, catch, and also effort, how many hours they spend out there. And what that happens is with the data itself, we're able to look at trends. Um, how much fish is caught maybe per hour 20 years ago versus now. Uh, how much fish are caught uh, 20 years ago from now. What type of fish, how big the fish are compared with 20 years from now. And based on those trends, uh, we're able to uh, enact management decisions um, uh, based on, on these changes. Data from 20 years ago can be compared to current reports, and it's the analysis of this data that can be a valuable asset in making management decisions that will take into consideration coral reef fishery conservation. Nowadays you have a lot more people fishing, and so you have more people making an impact. So if you see a change, for example, in the number of fish people catch, I see a change in the types of fish people catch, or the uh, changes in the size of the fish people catch and you try and enact management decisions so that uh, your fishery, be it bottom fishing or spear fishing, doesn't go away or these fish that you uh, consider valuable to your culture or valuable to your eating uh, don't change. And that's when uh, we enact uh, management decisions to try and bring back the fishery to where it was before. The information collected by the Guam Creole Survey is particularly important when setting catch limits for reef fish. Programs like this one support effective coral reef management and conservation so we can enjoy our local fish forever. Please join us again for another Fish Forever podcast brought to you by the Western Pacific Fishery Management Council.